Hello, you are doing dishes with Michelle. Christmas edition. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, but even on Christmas, dishes never stop around here. So I would love to dress and do some dishes with you today on Christmas. I'm not cooking or doing anything fancy, so I decided I would dress in something pretty for you all. I need a Santa um, sexy dress, don't I, with the fur? So if anybody wants to go add a, well it's too late now, but maybe for next Christmas, I need to get a Santa outfit, you know, like a Mrs. Claus dress. Oh, I think I messed that up. Yes, we did. Dishes with Michelle. When it all fails, turn it around and just tie it. Got the red one for Christmas. Christmas. Okay, as you know, the dishes never stop around here. Mm -hmm. Christmas. some Lego for Christmas. I got a new Lego. Well, I bought it for myself. I got a Lego, I don't know, I guess a house, a modern house. And then I also got for my family, they know I'm a Lego crazy person too. Um, I got a couple tractors to put together today. I already did one last night because it was Christmas Eve. I like to open a present on Christmas Eve. And and then, then the rest on Christmas, I guess. So, one tractor last night. So what do you think of these pretty shoes? I love these shoes. Look, there's dog hair on them, even though I haven't had a dog in a month. Look at this doggies. load of dishes would turn out. We had so much power outage that I had run a load. It was like a quarter of the way through and then the power went out. So I just turned it back on and ran it again. But I think that may have messed up how much soap ran through it. But everybody seems to be clean. So I think we're okay. Oh, my 
these stockings are already coming down. These bows should match up with my bows. Dishes with Michelle. On Christmas! Christmas dishes with Michelle. in there. So do I look Christmassy enough? I think the red bows are Christmassy. with me. If you'd like to do dishes with me, as you know, I live in Columbus, Ohio, and I live alone and could use help at any time, so please come help me make videos. Mm -mm. Oh, and by the way, now I'm unemployed. This is a new year. I'm going to have to start the new year unemployed. Uh, my person I used to do all my contracting for is retired. Um, so I'd love to be your maid. Or if anybody has a job for me, I could be a secretary. I could be a maid. Of course, I contracting. I'm a contractor, so um, but I kind of want to get out of that. Although I, I could sell my van, I guess. I have a, a rape van. I could deliver packages for Amazon in my van. I think they have a flex program where you can, you know, I could own your own vehicle. I'm going to have to look into that. That could be something I could use until maybe um, I find some contracting work. See, I used to have a lot of contracting word of mouth because I used to do built-ins. I have a wood shop out back, if you don't know, and I build cabinets. So I used to build a lot of cabinets and built-ins and fireplaces and just whatever. Um, and all that word of mouth went away after I met this guy and just started working for him. I built him a couple cabinets, and next thing you know, I started installing and and I just went contracting for him for like 15 years I worked for him. So I never got any word of mouth of my own going around. So now here I am, kind of more or less unemployed. And no pool of, you know, past customers to work from. Well, other than, you know, 20 years ago when I did a bunch of built-ins. So I might have to get all that going again. If I'm not building couches, you know there's kind of a couch shortage going on. So I was thinking of finding like a local upholsterer and see if they wanted to get together and I would like build the couch frames and they could upholster them. And we could probably make some good money. So 
show, if anybody needs some custom cabinets, oh, you know, dungeons too. I make uh, beautiful spanking benches, or we could, uh, we could fully furnish your dungeon. Hey, one of my lights went out. Oh, oh, oh. Hope that didn't affect the video. <laughs> Dishes with Michelle. Hand wash that. Dishes. How do we get rid of this grease? Hmm. Here, we'll wipe it out. That's too much. Here, we need a uh, spatula. We'll spatula it out. We made some bacon. Bacon's so expensive. Now they got the little 12 ounce packs you can buy. <clears throat> Pretty sad. Shrinkflation. If they don't raise the price, they uh, shrink your portion. Actually, they do both at the same time. I've <laughs> seen raise the price and shrink it. Ridiculous. You know, I understand raising the price, but why do you have to shrink my shit too, you know? That's the worst part about it. It's like they think we're stupid and we don't notice. And they all do it so there's no competition to help us, the consumer. You know the camera turns off after about 12 minutes so if we lose you um thanks uh subscribe and merry christmas but i think you're still here with me